Welcome back to Eat Right New Hampshire. I'm Erica Mumford, a registered and licensed dietitian, continuing on with how to translate the food guide pyramid into everyday eating. Thanks, Chris, for going through breakfast. So the next part of the day would be our snacks. Mid-morning snack, maybe trying to incorporate some of those fruits into a mid-morning snack is always a great idea. Might likely get hungry anywhere from three to five hours after eating breakfast. And so you wanna respect that hunger and listen to that hunger and feed that hunger. Some great and quick, easy ideas. Portable fruit, no mess, no prep. A uh, little bit of prep ahead of time, just cutting up an orange. Takes all of maybe, I don't know, three seconds. Maybe even carrying it in a Tupperware is an easy thing to do in your lunch with an insulated lunch box. I do that kind of stuff all the time. One of the main things I hear is that sometimes people complain that eating fruit alone makes them hungry. So if you find that's the case and you have a while to go before you're able to make your lunch choices, you might want to complement it with some kind of a protein source and see how that works for you. An easy protein source is cheese. The tricky part is cheese is a serving size. A serving size is only an ounce. It's about the size of four dice. And I think sometimes we can have a tendency to maybe overeat cheese a little bit. The great thing about cheese nowadays is that you can also buy cheese pre-portioned in string cheese or in little wedges and be able to complement that pretty easy if fruit alone makes you hungry. Another way to complement it might be with a small amount of nuts. A little bit goes a long way. A serving size is only about a small handful, about an ounce, a quarter of a cup. On uh, walnuts in particular are actually a great nut. They have a lot of essential fatty acids, omega-3s, and they go pretty well with any kind of fruit. So that would help last you longer into lunch. Another thing that happens kind of mid-morning when we might start to get hungry is we might actually really be thirsty. The thirst mechanism in humans is so weak that sometimes we really are thirsty and we think that we're actually hungry. So sometimes a little bit of a drink can keep the edge off, but we wanna to try to limit our calories from what we drink and try to eat most of our calories. It promotes much more satiety and keeps us feeling full for longer. Great mid-morning drink, water, of course. And if you didn't like plain water, you could add a little bit of lemon or maybe lemon wedges or orange wedges to the water to spice things up or green tea. Actually, green tea is filled with antioxidants. So drinking a lot of green tea actually helps increase our metabolism a little bit. Think of logs on a fire to burn your metabolism. If we have really big meals or we maybe don't spread out what we eat over the course of the day, our bodies doesn't, don't burn that as well. And so we wanna to try to spread it out, respect our hunger, and that's why a mid-morning snack might be a really appropriate thing to have. So moving on from mid-morning, next meal comes lunch. And I'd love to introduce Chris to get lunch going for us I'm here. Back because now I'm hungry and I need my lunch. And I did find some of the cheese, which maybe we can talk about at the next snack as well, Erica. So great. All right, here's the lunch table that most of us can do. And what I try to do at lunch is a lot of people say they don't have a lot of time to cook or spend a lot of time preparing foods. So I would say sandwiches, soups, and salads and some form of healthy protein are the best bet for your lunch. However, what we follow here are plate percents because we wanna make sure that the food pyramid guidelines are followed through. So at your lunch, you should always have at least a minimum of one cup of vegetables. And I'm going to reach over here for a second and grab another slice of bread from the breakfast tray and put that back over here. So what we have is, here's a sandwich with two to three ounces of this would happen to be sliced turkey. Obviously you can add a leaf of lettuce. And I have the whole grain bread because I wanna to try to get my whole grains in because there's more fiber in the dark breads than there would be in the lighter colored breads. I also will take this off because these are raw, all right? I would have some raw baby carrots along with my sandwich. But you could also have sliced cucumbers. You could have almost a pint of little grape tomatoes. There are hardly any calories in those, and it helps to fill you up as well. So that would be the sandwich. Sandwich always is accompanied by at least a cup of vegetables or at least two or three cups of salad if you choose the salad instead. The other item, here's the salad. This is the salad bowl, folks, because a tiny salad really isn't going to get you the vegetables that you need. But what you're doing, obviously, is lettuce doesn't have a lot of calories. You could put anything in there, cold asparagus, sliced tomato, which currently you're probably not going to use, but the grape tomatoes you're very safe with. You also have the 
um, green peppers that you could slice up, cucumbers. So you'd make a big mix of a salad. And if you don't want to do that, don't forget these bags, things like coleslaw that right in the deli section. You have also the purple cabbages, you have shredded carrots. The more color, because we talked about the food pyramid and the food pyramid is all about color and your fruits and vegetables are where the color in your eating is going to come in. And then you throw two tablespoons. I would eat this entire eight ounce bag or put at least half in there, half of the red cabbage or the purple cabbage and the shredded carrots with the grape tomatoes and only two tablespoons of dressing, whatever kind I use. Now, if that doesn't keep you all day, what you wanna to try to do is perhaps come pick up this, you could pick this up as chicken, um, they're the packs which you can carry with you, they don't have to be refrigerated, you could even put them in your glove box other than the summertime. Salmon, tuna, chicken, it's only three ounces, rip it open, put it in there and just toss it in with your dressing. So that's what a healthy lunch would look like. And it's pretty easy to do this once you get in the habit of doing this. So the next thing that I'd like to do is I'd like to bring Erica back because she's going to help you get through the afternoon snack and your dinner before I come back with the treats. Thank you. So moving on and keeping the metabolism burning, we might likely get hungry a few hours after lunchtime. I think in general, a lot of people might have a tendency to overeat grains a little bit. So some of the snacks choices that I've come up with today have been snacks that maybe don't involve grains. So one of my favorite, personal favorite, mid-afternoon snacks. A lot of people like celery. Um, I like carrots in particular. So trying to eat carrots, and actually a good complement to that is peanut butter. These little Tupperware containers are actually a great little, uh, can I keep rolling, start over there? Okay, so blah, 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 blah. Um, our carrots. Another thing to add to the carrots might be some kind of protein. Maybe you're really hungry and the carrots alone just aren't gonna cut it. One thing that goes great with carrots actually is peanut butter. It's one of my favorite snacks. Another thing you might be able to add is hummus. This is actually about a half a cup, so about a half of this or two tablespoons of hummus, which is pureed chickpeas, a little bit of tahini in there, which is actually sesame seed paste, and then all different varieties. You might find olive hummus and lemon hummus complements really well with raw vegetables. Kind of going back to this peanut butter thing, one thing that I think can happen is sometimes we may have a tendency maybe to overeat our healthy fats because they taste good. So these little containers that you can buy any size, any shape, can be a nice way to portion control your healthy fats, like peanut butter, like nuts, that kind of thing. Another thing that might complement your afternoon snacks, whether you choose to have some veggies